Hello everyone, um, uh, for those who watched the channel, uh, you may remember these in a previous video. If you haven't watched it already, please go back uh, through the channel and you can see the video on it. Uh, in the video, I showed you that you can use the JBC tripods with a cheap Chinese pump. Uh, these pumps sell for about 28 quid on eBay. Uh, uh, they're from China. Um, they're pretty cheap, but they're a decent pump. Uh, basically, these are the JBC tripods, and I'm, I didn't show this in a previous video, they do a bigger size of it. Uh, this is the 84mm, and in this video I'm going to be using the bigger tripod, and I'm going to show you a nice little trick I found with these, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. At the end of this uh, tripod, uh, the only way I can describe it is like a, a rubber sucker. And uh, inside the sucker, it has like a metal tube which runs down the whole uh, length of it. And at the end, you can attach a suction machine. And uh, basically, this causes suction on the sucker. And when you tip it upside down, uh, basically the metal dome uh, covers the sucker, which protects it against hot air, if you're using hot air. And um, also, there's a spring inside here, so with the sucker and the spring, it causes like a tension which rises up the chip when it's ready. Uh, this is the um, suction pump that I'm going to be using. I showed this in a previous video. These are 28 quid on eBay. So if you want one, uh, they're a great pump. And the best thing about them, they have two outlets which allow you to use two of the um, tripods at the same time. And I'm going to show you why this is handy. Uh, all new uh, iPhones are pretty much all new iPhones, uh, sandwich balls. Uh, this is basically two balls uh, sandwiched together, uh, soldered together to make one bolt. And uh, to get inside uh, to the inner layer, uh, you have to separate them. And you normally do this by using a preheater. And I'm gonna show you how you can use this machine in conjunction with this machine to make it a lot easier. Uh, start by putting it inside the preheater. Uh, basically, it locks in. There's t uh, three little pins which it sticks into, and then you use the clips on the outside to uh, clamp down the bottom layer. And I'm going to show you a nice little trick I found. Uh, there's a few different methods for doing this. Uh, you can use a screw in one of the screw holes to lift the top layer. Uh, but obviously timing's an issue, uh, if you lift it too soon you end up ripping pads. And also I've seen a few people slide things in between the uh, sandwich layer, which is very risky as well. And uh, with this method, uh, it rules all that out, it's completely uh, aut automated, that's the right word. Um, yeah, uh, the timing process is uh, all done for you. So yeah, um, hopefully you like it. I'm not going to cut any of this out. I'm going to uh, let it run for, I'm not going to edit any of it out because I want you to see the whole process. Uh, the preheater is cold. So when I do start it up, it will take a little while to heat up. I'm just going to set up another camera. I mean, I'm only going to get one try at filming this. So yeah, uh, bear with me and then I'll stop. Right, I'm all set up. Three, two, one. And we have lift off. This is on the other camera. Um, I will play some music because I don't want to give you a headache. As you can tell, this noise is irritating. But there's not much I can do about that.
Uh, as you can see, there's no rip pads on this. Uh, this is due to the tripod. It, it basically takes the timing process out of it. As soon as the solder balls are melted, uh, the suction will lift it up. And yeah, it makes it completely automated and it uh, lowers the risk of ripping pads. And I find this works perfectly every time. Unfortunately, it did topple over. That's due to the preheater platform being a bit small. But I do have a larger uh, preheater, which it does stand up all right on. But unfortunately, I weren't able to do this twice. I only had one shot at it. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and hopefully it helps someone out. I'll do, um, yeah, I'll quickly release the top layer and give you a uh, close-up of the uh, pads so you can see for yourself. Uh, once you uh, release the suction, uh, the tripod should give way and release the top layer. Uh, I'll try and get this in focus for you. The focus on this camera is terrible. So I'll put it underneath the microscope in a minute so you can see more clearly. But yeah, uh, because it takes the timing process out of it, it um, completely rules out ripping pads. As you can see under the microscope, uh, there's no rip pads at all. And so far I've had 100% uh, success with this method. Yeah, so uh, hopefully it helps someone out. And thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it.